I quit my job at the car wash. It would make beats in my mom's basement. This is around the time of Sean's birthday. Yep. So I was making like hella beats. I came up with the idea for this song. I just never knew how to chop the song. But the sample, the very beginning of the sample says, it's cost me a lot. It's cost me a lot. But there's one thing that I've got a lot. Lot. One a lot. Lot. It's cost me a lot. A lot. One a lot. A lot. It's cost me a lot. Lot. One a lot. Me and Sean clicked because we grew up together. So like, I was 12 and I think when I met him, if I was 12, he was what, 14, 15? Yeah, I mean, you know, the sounds match. I'd, I'd be with him in the studio all the time. I would just like have a little fucking iPod Nano and walk up on him like, listen to these beats. He'd be like, oh, this is dope. I'd burn CDs and give them to him and shit. Like right when he got signed to Kanye, it's funny. This is when the Next Tales shits was out and he could chirp motherfuckers and shit. I think he like chirped my brother shit. He's like, yo, I just rapped for Kanye. But I had my brother's phone in my hand, so I was like, damn, you did? And then, <laughs> <laughs> and my brother walked in the room and was like, give me my phone. But yeah, like, niggas go back. I'm listening to it like, damn, did I like make this? That's kind of fucking crazy. in the basement so like I used to like sit in front of our record player like growing up and just play them bitches back to back you know Motown is there Jay Dilla's from Detroit so you know it was a situation I was in I was in a school and my eighth grade piano teacher was like everybody come up and play the piano I'm just like all right so I'm like started fucking with it and the shit was like fun. My mom ended up buying me a little keyboard out the JCPenney catalog. So I started like making beats on that and then I just kept making beats. I would like do piano lessons with like the school and the choir director and I'd take what I learned from the, the lesson and make beats to it. So, and just apply it, yeah. So like, shit, since like 12, 13, I just kept progressing through it and it worked. Deja Vu shit, that was low key a, a Cam Obi joint. He like gave me, it was at Sean Crib, he gave me something he sang on. So basically, it was just basically uh, this. That's him singing. Yeah, so I was like, oh fuck. So 
So I added like a bunch of shit to that, like. Yo, what up, though? I'm Key Wayne, and you watching Behind the Boards, man.